Hello! Welcome! Guess what today is? It's Dick of Panning! Can you tell it's my favorite? Because it's my favorite. <laughs> I'm so excited to be doing deck of panning for the second time this this time. Um, and she, let me just calm myself down. Calm down, Amy. It's only been a month that you haven't been doing deck of panning. You would think it's been a year. Okay. If you don't know, deck of panning was created by Emily and Max. She got the inspiration from a booktuber called books by Matt? No, with Maddie. Books with Maddie. I screw that up every time. Um, and she turned it, she asked her, she said, sure, go ahead. And then she turned it into a makeup panning project game. And it is a very popular one. So I would be shocked if you've never seen these before. So I'm not going to go all into the nits and crannies. Nicks and crannies. What is the word? Is it nicks or is it nits? Nicks? Nicks and crannies? Whatever. <laughs> um, I'm going to put her... I'm going to put a couple of links down there. I'm going to put this year's um, introduction and... Um, information about how she's changed this product this product project a little bit this year um, I'm excited about all the little new things she's added in and I'm also going to put in one of her older ones where she goes at length at how this this project works um, once you start watching me pull and tell you the prompts and stuff I think you'll understand but if you need more information just go over to Emily and Max's channel and you can see all of her introductions um, where she explains everything about this project. Okay, so this starts on January 20th. I am keeping my fingers crossed that I will get this up today. It is the 20th. Uh, it ends on December 20th and you have to have a deck of cards. So I have so many deck of cards in my collection um my family and i whenever we go somewhere we always end up picking up a deck of cards from where we're at or if we just see a deck of cards that one of us knows that, oh they'll love that that deck we get them for our, get get for each other okay so i'm using my bicycle disney 100 cards bought these last year I don't believe I used them in the project yet, but if I have, oh well, we're gonna play with them again because they're pretty. And I'm wearing Disney. I mean, I'm wearing my 90s Disney outfit. <laughs> I'm feeling the 90s today. So, put that out. Okay. That's weird, they have one that's just, ooh, just has that, okay. Um, Olaf, apparently, is our joker. We've got a red Olaf and a black Olaf. They say 100 on the back. If you didn't know, it's a the hundredth anniversary of Disney's animation. So, yeah, we're gonna use the red Olaf. I think today. I always go black usually, but we'll go red this time. And yes, I can tell I've never used these before because <laughs> they're all in order. So we're gonna do a really good. Um, shuffle. The only project I've seen so far, uh, intro I should say, I've seen so far is Emily's. So I somewhat know what the board has, but not really. Um, I usually like going in not knowing, but I am going to try this year, you guys, to pop the board up so you can see it and see what the card goes to with prompt that prompt am I making any sense I feel like my mind and my mouth are not working together today so maybe get your Yoda on and then you might understand what I'm saying <laughs> maybe Yoda doesn't even know either I feel like I'm I'm talking backwards so thirsty okay one more shuffle one more shuffle I would show you, but the last time I did that, I made quite the mess. So, all right. 
I'm going to split it and then we're going to, oh, we have to get five cards. So we're splitting and we got, I almost got scared and thought that was Olaf. I'm like, I did not get the Joker last year, but I did get in it for the long haul twice. I felt like I had the Joker. <laughs> okay. Um, we got nine of spades with, is her name Merida? Merida. I love this movie. And Kanto. That was a good movie. And I waited way too long to see it. So we'll see, um, what the nine of spades is in a little bit. I want to draw all the cards. Let's shuffle again. These are very stiff cards because they're new. All right. We're going to do this again. And what do we get? Is that a queen? Nope, it's a nine again. Nine of clubs this time. And, oh, I think this is from Up. It was when they were younger. How cute. Isn't that cute? That movie made me cry. I only saw it once and it made me cry and I never wanted to see it again. But I love Doug. Doug the dog, man. Love him. If you're new here, I am a Disney fanatic. I live in Florida. I used to live 10 minutes away from Disney. Now I live almost an hour. <laughs> I don't like living this far, but I do enjoy not having tourists around. All right, here's another one. Ooh, that's a colored one. Snow White, and it is the Three of Diamonds. Ooh, that's a pretty card. Isn't that pretty? I love how they've made it kind of like What's it called? Um, iridescent. Okay, I'm making a mess of my cards. We need two more. Oh, sorry, I just dropped my card. Let me try that again. All right, let's take it off the top. Let's take it off the top. We got, ooh, look, it's Buzz Lightyear. And I'm throwing him, Buzz, stop trying to fly away. Where's Woody when you need him? Okay, we got the Six of Hearts. I love these cards. They're just too freaking cute. And now I'm just gonna not shuffle, just grab from the middle. And we got Miguel from Coco. I just watched that movie last weekend. Thanks, Kim, for telling me to watch it. <laughs> I keep saying I was gonna watch it, and she's like, you need to see it, it's so good. <laughs> So I finally watched it and she's right, it's so good. So if you haven't seen Coco or Encanto, go watch them, Disney Plus has them. So we've got Jack of Hearts. Now all the face cards stay the same, but she did change them this year. There's, I think the Kings, the two Kings, I'm gonna try to avoid this this year because uh, I, don't, I don't like the, the prompts for those, <laughs> they scare me. All right, we've got a nine of clubs, a nine of spades, a three of diamonds, a six of hearts, and a, a jack of hearts. I'm gonna go look what those prompts are and go get my products, and then I'll be back to show you what I got and probably do some swatching. So, in a second, I'll see you. All righty, I found my products. It was a little more difficult than it needed to be, I think. Mainly because all I want to bring in is eyeshadow and blushes, eyeshadow and blushes. I have so many blushes already in projects and I already have so many eyeshadows to work on, but I still have more now. Okay, so I am popping up the board for you to look at while we go through these. Um, our first card was the Nine of Spades. And that was for most recent purchase. So the last purchase I made in December before my no buy was the Natasha Denona I Need a Nudes palette. I was going to explain all this in my update for a no buy, but here we are. Um, I thought Ulta lost it, that it didn't arrive. I couldn't find it anywhere and I argued with Ulta and all these things and it turns out it did get delivered but my aunt grabbed it thinking it was her medications because it was in a white envelope. So I think it was 
maybe two weeks ago that she comes knocking on my bedroom door at like 9 30 10 o'clock at night and goes Amy I think I found your palette I'm like what <laughs> I go out and then there it was she had it she just opened the envelope and realized oh this isn't my medications I wonder if this is what Amy was looking for yes yes it was one shade did come broken but I did push it back in so I'm bringing this beautiful thing I'm scared of that shade it was this shade in the middle here that broke um, I'm bringing this in to usually I do the number of the card I just want to use this three times do like three different looks I want to get to know this palette because I would love to take this on my cruise next month in two weeks um so I would love to know this palette before I make that decision so I'm excited to bring this in and I'm even more excited that I didn't lose money or a palette I actually got it so all of you that were on my side being pissed off at Ulta with me thank you but it's here they were right I was wrong <laughs> for once they were right <laughs> Alrighty, the next card was the Nine of Clubs, and that is an SPF. So, I decided, instead of working on an SPF, because I use one already every day, and that's just kind of, mm, I decided to bring in my Tarte, well, it's really Sugar Rush, but I call it Tarte because it is a sister brand. Um, it's the Skin, Skin Treat Poreless Tinted Moisturizer with SPF 20. It's still in the box, um, so let's take it out of the box. This isn't fair. I think this is as light as they get. Let me shake it up because it's been sitting there for a little while. All right, so this is what it looks like. And let's see if it actually matches me. Because if it does, it will be going abort, abort gotta try something else all right come on little guy come off at least there's a seal on it but still I'm trying to get it off here come on you go just a little dollop not even a dollop oh sorry okay that's probably way more than I need but oh yeah that'll work now you probably can't even see it but yeah it's slightly lighter than my skin but I'm okay with that because you can warm that up with it's so silky I wonder if there's a silicone in that because it feels very silky all I care about is that it lays nicely on my face let's hope it does this I will use nine times because it's the nine of clubs the only um, other foundation I'm working on is in my whole collection project pan but we can alternate so yeah, that feels really nice. And it does smooth out. Does it say that? Oh yeah, poreless. I don't know if you can tell. Like I have pores here, or like little hair thingies, and then this is so smooth. <gasps> I'm excited. Has anybody ever used this? Does it work? I have combo skin. So like sometimes I'm dry, like right now, and other times I'm like just normal, so. I'm excited to try this. We can get rid of the box now and I'll keep it just in case I wanna pass it on to someone else if I don't like it. All right, so our next card, oh, let's put that over there. Our next card was the Three of Diamonds, which was Snow White, and that is a splurge. I had a hard time figuring out what to bring because most of my splurging is eyeshadow. So I didn't want to do that since I already chose the Natasha Denona. So I decided, well, anything Pat McGrath is a splurge, even though I bought mine secondhand. I think this one was secondhand. I bought a couple sec secondhand and then I bought, I think, one or two during one of her 30% sales. Anyways, I am going to bring in the last Pat McGrath blush that I have yet to try that's in my collection. And this one says it's the D Divine Rose 2. I have the Divine Rose, which I tried. 
And I have one in, or did I already roll it out? I must have rolled it out already, but I had one in another project. So when I open this though, I'm like, oh my God, that's not the time to wear this. But this side of the blush, here, let me see if I can get it up closer. This side of the blush is perfect right now. This is a little bright for right now, but let's see what it looks like separately. So there's that. Yeah, that's pretty. And then there's this, very bright. And then together, well, they're all kind of running together, my bad. Um, this is the matte that I feel is a good tone for right now. And then the brighter one and then all together. Hopefully you can see that. I think I might be getting washed out with the ring, or the ring light. But, yeah, I think I'm gonna end up just using this side of the blush, which is fine, it's getting used. Um, but I'm gonna use that three times. Thank God, I have so much blush and projects right now. So that will be three times. Um, and then, yeah, I was like, wait, I have more cards sitting here, <laughs> confusing myself. Six of Hearts, which was our little Buzz Lightyear. This one is oldest product. Um, I have a lot of products in my collection that are older, um, but one in particular, I had three of these. I've already decluttered one. Um, I am bringing in the... Maybelline, what are they called? Color Tattoo 24 Hour Metal Eyeshadow. And this one is in Inked to Pink. I don't know if you can see the color there. Um, I've used it a few times. Like you can hopefully see that it has been used, but it's been a lot. Oh yeah, it's dry. Let's see if I can warm it up. I just wanna see if this is needing to be decluttered. Um, the one I sent was Bad to the Bronze. Oh, it's still nice and creamy and can be used. Um, God, it's very bright. So it's right there. Um, I want to see if I like this one. I did not like how Bad to the Bronze laid on my lids. And DW loves that shade. It's her absolute favorite shade. So I sent it to her since these are no longer available. Um, I'm going to see how this works for me. I'll be using it six times. And lastly, our Jack of Hearts is cream or liquid product. So I decided to bring in another new, this was, well, July. I brought it in July, <laughs> um, but I haven't used it yet. Sydney Grace's uh, cream highlighter in On a Cloud. So I still even have it in the box. Let's get that open. So it looks like this, and there's the name. Don't know if you can see it though. Never been used. It's just a, uh, I would say like an opal maybe. Um, ooh, it's very creamy. Very, ooh. ooh, that's very, very bright. <laughs> I might do this under my foundation or maybe if I just tap, let's see what it looks like when you just tap. Okay, better. I don't know if you'll be able to see it. I am not a blingy highlighter girl, unlike all of my friends. <laughs> um, so I'll be probably just tapping it out so it doesn't look so bright. Um, like you could land on that sucker. So, yeah, that one's going to get used 10 times. Might take me a while. Though, I do not have, wait, do I? Oh, yeah, I do have a highlighter in my um, whole collection project pan, but that's okay. It can share the love for 10 times. So, we have a blush, a cream highlighter, a cream eyeshadow. Where'd it go? a tinted moisturizer, and the I Need a Nudes Natasha Denona. I'm excited to try all of these and um, let you guys know if any of these are like, doesn't look good on my skin or 
makes my eyelids look horrible. You know, I'm, I will let you guys know how I feel about these things. The only thing I think is going to get um, rolled out next month will be the blush because it's a three. But you never know. I might pull two cards anyways. So, because that's the, that's the best part of this project. The best. I'm a little excited. I can you tell? <laughs> anyways um thank you for giving me a little bit of your time today are you doing this project and if you are and i've not commented on your project let me know because i want to watch everybody everybody this is this and um project level up are my absolute favorite projects to watch i also like pan those eyeshadows so if you do that let me know too any of those three let me know Alrighty, enough jibba jabba. My battery's about to die. It's telling me to shut it. <laughs> um, so I have a f a quite a few new followers, so I want to say thank you for subscribing. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. And I would love to talk to you in the comments. I love talking to you guys. And you're always so sweet. Um, especially when I posted my inventory. So I want to thank you for that as well. Okay, I think I will shut up now and I'm just going to say thank you so much and I do hope you have a good day, good night, great week, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye!